It's getting late. Where to now?
day to repent. Let's make it good. Just a scratch. This sanctuary is but a vision.
fight me. Time to twirl! The sanctuary is but a vision. No interest in conflict. We need a strategy. Move carefully.
but the society is famous thanks to him. The Inter-Astral Peace Corporation has been trying to find a replacement ever since his death. They searched for many Amber Eras, but no genius was willing to lower their head to the IPC. <laughs> Until they found me. Oh, Elias Salas, such a lovely old fellow. He is member 56 of the Genius Society, one of the only two publicly elected ministers in the society's history. Be grateful to him. He created the Synthesia Beacons and Overrange Remote Sensing, the cornerstones of modern cosmic communication. However, he did not disclose his inventions to the public, so I hereby certify that the rights of these two technologies belong to the Intelligentsia Guild. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Guild, but it is impressive that they managed to reproduce Elias Salas' inventions. Member 76 of the Genius Society, Skrulem. I've known him for a long time. He's a really good man, a gentleman with an exceptional mechanical mind. I've learned a lot from him. Recently, I have been working with him and Ron May on a project. I hope this project can help us get closer to the greatest mystery of the universe. or better known as Member 83 of the Genius Society. In her childhood, she solved the solitary waves theory and the spark model hypotheses. In her adolescence, she found the Sigma Baryon's conversion method. In middle age, she proposed the Herda sequence and published a paper on de-aging. In her senior years, she managed to reverse her own age via de-aging and went on to solve the mystery of the imaginary leakage phenomenon and even captured and sealed a Stellaron. Madame Herda has saved the planet she was on from destruction 19 times and has met the eons twice. This space station is her property. It's getting late. Where to now? So, have you thought things through? Hmm? Go ahead, speak your mind. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herda may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return, and it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? How about we continue talking on the Express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. I was ready ages ago. <sighs> I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. As always, to follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds and we'll continue to do so. 
There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. So, have you thought things through? Then come with me. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Time to get on. Till we make it. Oh. Take the journey. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. You recognize this as well? Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Come with me, take the journey Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. 
She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. This is open to everyone on the express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the express. I enter the collected data into the archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the express encounters and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the data bank. Do give it a go. I'll 
unlocked. Should I go in? Just one look should be fine, right? Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. We will see. So much has happened in such a short time. Come with me, take the journey. here now. He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Like March. Always running her pom pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump.
a button be so stubborn? We will see. Come with me, take the journey. like that before but it wasn't stars for me though it was lights first woke up after being rescued from the ice i could see clusters of stars in front of me i reached out for them automatically but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights the whole crew was watching me it was pretty embarrassing Come with me, take the journey oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Come with me, take Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name, it's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A <laughs> way to get everyone down, huh? Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. I'll be waiting till we make. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them. As for the mechanism, well, if you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. For now, just sit and wait. Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. Our next stop is a small planet called Eurelo 6. It's been thousands of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. But after all this time, it's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. Come with me, take 
Oh, don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. Thanks. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. The key is using your core, waist, and leg muscles. It's not your stance that matters, but your ability to ride the inertia. Well, don't mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Millennia? Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly! Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Come with me, take the journey. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Gotta get busy! I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. 
so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. brings its own grand and exciting adventure. To no. Pom Pom can't leave the train right now. Oh, Pom Pom's so dejected all of a sudden. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on your Relo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. Come with me, take the journey. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Urelo 6, we're here. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. 
Although the trailblaze path grants us faint power, it allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! We had a snowmobile! We never get to bring anything cool from the express. Do you remember what you did to our last snowmobile? <laughs> anyway, moving on! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on! You've got a Stellaron in your body, I have my special six-phase ice powers, and Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. So how long does Copycatitis last? Let's go! Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing! This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet Fragmenta monsters have already made it here. Too late to repent! But the vision! Break. Reach the end of the story in your own way.
have no in- Made to be brief. 